What's going on, everyone? Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Now, let's jump right on in. What do we have here? So, uh, as the title states, a 40-year legend. Uh, yeah, he's in the back right there. This this not no clickbait. Uh, had these guys about since about one inch, so they've been with me for about uh, three months now. Yeah, I'm very glad to bring you my very first red dovine. Uh, this is a xanthic variation of the uh, regular dovine. In other words, a genetic mutation of uh, what you usually see that's blue, you know. I know you guys say, well, I don't see a red dovine yet. So it's, uh, we're not going to make this be no clickbait. Let's, let's uh, skip over. This one hasn't peeled yet. Let's skip over and keep the story going. Now, as you can see, we skipped over to the other tank where we have the other red dovi. This one is actually peeled. So you're looking at one, it's actually showing you that it's a xanthic dovi, which has very little to almost no pigmentation. And it's uh, mostly gonna be red, but it seems like since they've been breeding these guys for a little bit, they've been coming out red and white, you know what I mean? But the first ones, I know, it was coming out straight red. But that's besides the point. Um, now, what makes this a uh, 40-year uh, legend? I don't know if you guys are uh, true uh, monster, secret fans. But you guys that are, um, you guys, if you don't know, you should go check out Guapoti Mail. But if you do know about them, you heard them talk about it. It's about a fish that's been uh, elusive, you know. I had a little bit written down, but we're gonna do uh, that later. This fish has been very, very elusive in the hobby. And uh, he was speaking about how he almost had every cichlid that was Central American and South American, and I don't know what else he kept. But uh, he said that I, I remember him saying that this was one of the ones that was on his, uh, bucket list as a uh, the holy grail of monster cichlids the 40 year legend because these cichlids only one percent basically in the wild turn out to be like this um they're very very hard to uh locate you know and even if you do loc locate them you know depending on the person everything just has to come together you know paperwork whole lot of stuff so these things have been found I'm pretty sure the locals have cooked them before <laughs> you know so to us they're new but like I said one percent or maybe less in the wild so this this is uh something that's he said uh, they arrived back in the 60s late 60s I think he was saying and um, it, it hasn't been seen since. Ten years ago, oh, five years ago, I remember him talking about it, longer than that. And uh, I actually uh, was in contact with Jeff Raps, And he was saying that he might know a location where they could be found at and this and that, you know. But it was a whole lot of, uh, you know, basically red tape <laughs> trying to get this fish so this guy named Mauricio Parra he had a YouTube channel also and uh, before he put him up on YouTube I actually spoke with him and then he um, started posting them so I think that raised the interest up and it actually got people going out searching for these guys and I don't want to say exactly how they got over here but I believe Mauricio, I'm going to give him a shout out for doing a good job and at least sharing with us what he had in his collection so he could inspire others, you know, to go out there and search for this uh, strain or this particular uh, red dovi variation, this particular morph. So, um, 
It's just going to be very interesting to blow these guys up. I hope the other one turned red too. But there's no guarantee. Uh, matter of fact, if they do anything like the Red Devils, you know, sometimes they don't peel. So, you know, who knows? That one probably, I mean, um, this one was showing signs of peeling from like a half an inch to an inch. And that one kind of, I was like on the on the cuff with it. Was it even a red dover? But to my understanding, not all of them uh, peeled. So they came together. So, hey, even though it hasn't peeled, it may never, never peel, but it may have the gene. Is, is it good enough? Mm, probably not for me to breed it. Because I'm going to want to uh, show enough how that, I don't want to recess. You know, I'm going to progress with the breeding. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it right. So I'll probably get another uh, red dove eye. You know. And I doubt it's going to be a, a different bloodline, which uh, all these red dove eyes going to be related. You know, somewhere down the line. Will they be directly de related? I don't know. But I know for sure they're not going out there and catching these every day. So this makes this guy a 40-year legend that has come to light. At one time, it was just a fantasy. As I was saying, well, Pody Mill just fantasizing. He's like, All right, well, I know I'm never going to probably see that cichlid. <laughs> and then, wow, one day it just, boom, out of the blue. Someone had one on the Internet. I remember telling uh, a couple of my friends, old heads, that, been having cigarettes for 40, 50 years. You know, man, they got a red dove eye. It's like, oh man, I don't believe that crap. Well, believe it or not, here it is. And this is a small version. So, you know, it might not be what you guys expected on a, on a video, you know, but hey, one day he gonna get big. As right now, he's already showing signs of being the tank boss. I already got a name for him. The name gonna be Lambo. You know, I think uh, that's an appropriate name. You know, like a Lamborghini, because he, hopefully he's gonna be red. And they like the sports cars of Cyclist too. Cause they're kind of fast. I mean, they're super fast when they want to, you know, when they want to do something. Compared to the other slow cyclists, such as these, um, these guys right here, they don't have nothing on them. This guy right here. They just built totally different. This guy built for speed. So, yeah, his name Lambo. And uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for uh, sticking around for this long video. And I uh, hope to see you on the next one. Don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe. It does help the channel. Peace out, you guys. See you on the next one.